Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a pedal box on this Vauxhall Corsa. Disconnect battery. This is we're going to remove the steering wheel and all the column. But first what we're going to do is we're going to remove this cover. It's got two so it's got one screw there, one screw there. As you can see, one of the screws there. And there's also another one in the corner there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those now. What we're going to do is unclip this panel, trim. Should really be using two hands on this, really. Now let's just on click this. Like so Now you can start to see our pedal box that we're going to remove and that's all of it. But now I'm going to go to the skinnet. The steering column. Motor plugs and also I'm going to remove in that 11mm bolt down there. I'm going to take all this out. Now we're going to remove this cover. As you can see we've got a little bolt in there. I'm going to go ahead and remove that because we need to take this cover off. Now I've taken it off. This little cover should just unclip like so. Gently. Let's try and unhook it. need to turn the stand wheel so you can see these screws there's also another one on that side so you're going to need to turn the stand wheel around just to gain access to those Let's remove that cover completely got to get that one as well so you can see there and then remove that as well. Now all of that should just literally come off. This is my first time doing it, so don't slate me if I've done certain bits in a different order. You can see you're gonna need to remove that bolt. That bolt up there as well. Gonna need to unplug this these wires and then obviously I'm gonna take that off and see if there's any other bolts about 
and there's no others I can see at the moment to remove so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now that looks like a 13 or maybe 14 possibly a 13 so go ahead and unplug all of these So I need to pull that red bit out and push this in and pull it out. And this one literally just pull off like that. So I'm going to need to literally disconnect those bits up there as well. So from the top here, you can see all of the plugs that I need to disconnect. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, all of them. As you can see all of that's now off. So I'm clipped out from the steering column itself. As you can see, just it clips in like that and you just literally just lift that up. Now I'll just remove this. Level mill down it. Now we're going to take these ones out. It doesn't drop on you. I need to get something to support it. As you can see, the whole thing's coming down. Now you're going to need to pull it. As you can see where it's sitting there. You need to pull it forward and then it will just come straight up. You can see I've taken that bit off now. Inside here, as you can see, there's another one there. And there's so another one. around there somewhere that needs to come off as well so i'm gonna go ahead and remove both of those now and then this whole bit will come up all of that will come up remove this column as you can see take the whole thing out completely now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to basically loosen that screw that screw there literally so we can get this to move and we're going to take this trim off and also on the other side as you can see it's got a bolt there as well and there's also another bolt on the other side so we're going to take those out just so we can move the dash back and forth basically so when we pull this out we've got enough space to move this forward to pull it out completely There's two 13s that needs to be removed and two on the other side as well. So it's basically the same principle on the other side that you need to do.
Literally for those ones, you just need a 10 mil ratchet spanner. There's not a lot of space in there unless you take the whole door off completely. So you basically take both, both of those off. As you can see, that one's all the way out. So literally it's just a 10 mil spanner just to take them off. Ratchet spanner. And do the same to the other side as well. Remove that part of the air box. It's only a seven mil socket to do it, as you can see. And cover up the hole, the throttle body. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna need to pull this pipe off. Literally just come straight off. You just, you just gotta hold it. Grip it really tight and just pull. Like that, as you can see, it just comes straight off. And then there is a clip for this part down there. We're gonna need to take that clip off and pull that pipe out. And then we need to take that 30 mil nut, another 30 mil nut down there, off. And on this pipe here, we're gonna need to take off that clip down there and pull that off. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. See, all the pipes are disconnected. Now, all I need to do now is take off those T13s there for the master cylinder and then we can go back inside and start working on the pedal box to remove it. But now we're gonna start unplugging all of our plugs. Including this one. Once we've disconnected these, then I'll start moving all of those nuts over there. As you can see, that's quite a few of them. So now it's time to remove the pedal box. As you can see, all the plugs have been disconnected. One there as well. There's also another one there. There's one over there in the corner. And I think there should be another one up there somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those, all of those now. Let's start pulling it forwards now. That's our pedal box out. Now we're gonna have to get our new one put back in. So now I've got to remove these ones, these two. because I've got to take this out to fit to the new one because the new one doesn't come with that. Almost forgot that I'm supposed to remove the brake pedal from the servo. But actually it's got like little clips as you can see on the side one here one there you just you've got to push these bits out and then you've got to pull it and it should come up so i'm going to go ahead and do that now as you can see there's two of them one there and one there so you can disconnect the servo from the brake pedal i'm going to show you a demonstration how to take it off so literally push it in between the gap open it up and pull up 
And that's basically it. And then we just push this one out. Bring that aside like so. And then now it's disconnected. I can pull the whole thing out. And then we both hands to pull this out. You can see. We need to fit into that one. back on there, one there, one there, and then we can connect up the brake pedal after. So I've got to make sure that's lined up and then I'll slow it back in. Initially, we're going to put them on. Actually, we're doing that, so that's uh, This one's turned straight at all. And slot that back on there. And that's it. And that's it. We're ready to put this bad boy back in now. Oh. So now I'm about to put the box back in, as you can see. Just remember not to not basically get any wires or anything trapped and make sure the seals. That one there is connected. And if you look down the back here, you can see that cover there that goes over the hole there. It's secure. So I'm going to go ahead now and gently and gradually just feed that up there and connect it. So as you can see for yourself, the box is now lined up. Everything's back in place. Just need to literally, as you can see, all the nuts needs to be tightened up now. But obviously you've got to make sure it's aligned properly first and also check from the engine bay to make sure it's lined up out there. And now I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up, put all the plugs back on, and then move to the engine bay and start collect connecting back up the actual master cylinder and the pipes. finish in tightening all these up now it's time to connect back up our plugs See there wasn't a plug for me to plug that plug in. So as you can see, it's because the brake light switch is not didn't come with the new one, so I just need to push that out as far as possible and bring this red bit forward. And then literally it's got little clips on there. You need to push both of those in, that one on that side and that one on that side, then it just pops straight out. Out just so you can see. It does come out that way. As you can see the little clips there, that one there. 
that one there. So now I can literally just put it back into this one. Like so put that brake pedal back a bit. I'm gonna need both hands to do it. Obviously you can see where it moves. You can see the contact when the pedal comes back. So I wanna go ahead and fit that now. So if you can see, as you can see, it's fitted back in now. But once you've done that, you need to push the red bit back in. As you can see, I've pushed it back in. And look. Just like so. Now I can plug it in. And that's basically it now. So now we're going to go around to the underneath the bonnet. I'm going to connect up our plug. Not our plug, but our brake line part down here. You can see it. Connect this one back up as well. Now we need to line up our master cylinder back onto that. And obviously then need to bleed the system. So now we need to make sure that this master cylinder is lined up. You can see it needs to sit in that right there. And then it's gonna push it on. Now uh, that's sitting flush. As you can see I can put the Nuts back on now. Don't forget you need to connect this part of this pipe back on as well and tighten up that clip. Plug the plug back in. Like so, and you will need to bleed the system. So, finished bleeding the clutch, and as you can see, we have got clutch pedal there. So, now I can put the steering column back in it, including the steering wheel itself. But before I do all of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up that bolt over there and that bolt there. I'm going to put those two back in and also the two on that side and the two over there. I'm going to go ahead and do those 10 mil ratchet spinal wall. Tighten those up because there's not enough space unless you take the door off to put a proper ratchet and also a socket. See, it's the only way to do it with a ratchet spinner because there's not enough space there. As you can see, those two bolts are on, including those two. Now I'm going to move over to so the same to this side for those two bolts, and including the two down here that we need to put in. Go ahead and put those four bolts back, tighten those two, tighten those two, and then we'll move to the next step. I'm just got to fit these covers back on now, as you can see trim is right there that one slots into that there like so and this bit has to slot into this bit up here Screw in there, screw in there, and it's the same for the other side. Now I'm going to put the steering column back in. First, what I'm going to do is line it up on there, and then obviously line it up to where the bolts go. You can see through there. 
That goes into those bits and there's another bit on that side. And then just got to line this one up now as well. It's, it's a bit heavy so you do need to use both hands to sort of move this around and line it up. and do those up now as you can see it's sitting in there as well so that's lined up we just got to put our pinch bolt back in there in a bit now let's tighten these two up first now let's fit our pinch bolt Always put it in by hand first so we don't actually crossword anything. And now I'm just gonna tighten that up. So we're almost there now. Plug all our plugs back in. Even the right one for that one. All right, so so that's tightened up. So is those two. Now this one, as you can see, it goes like that. It's gonna go over this, but we need to put obviously the steering back on. Just gonna. So now I'm just gonna slide this back into that to make sure it's straight, and obviously then I'll put both the bolts through. These bits slide up, just push it straight on, get this out of the way, like so. You can see exactly where they need to line up. So, literally, there you can see those are the bits there. But this with the steering, if you move it back and forth, literally, they will come out. You can see them moving, then you can bring it upwards to line them up. So, now we'll just tighten those bad boys up. Now it's just to connect back up the wires onto this bit. First and foremost, I need to put this back over here, like I was saying previously. Obviously, as you can see, it's a bit difficult trying to do it with one hand. But yeah, it's got to line this up, clip that back into place. So it just sits on the column. Like so. And then we've got all of our plugs here that needs to be plugged back in. You can see all of them. So we're gonna plug all of those back in. So all of our plugs, as you can see, are plugged in, including those ones as well. Now I just got slide this back in there like so and need to put this one back on including the other cover so you've got to line this up and make sure you can put the screws back in before you put the top bit in you can see all of the trims are back on including the battery as well as you can see the car's running I can select gears. And there's no leaks. And that's it, really. Thank you, and thank you for choosing. Get official. Please like, share, and subscribe for further content on my channel. Stay blessed. Keep on rolling. Boom.